Oh my god. Every single drone going down. 12 kills on that DT. A terrible blow to Bakryu. If we look at the supply, 137 for Buell against 107 of Bakryu. But Bakryu's killed a bunch of probes and denied mining at the natural. So both players doing terrible, terrible damage to each other. And it looks like, though, Buell's going to go again. Can he break it? That's a lot of Dragoons. He needs another Storm, though. He's got two Storms on that guy. He doesn't use either of them. He's got, he's got two Storms on, like, every Templar. Dude! Dude! The Psy Storm! Oh, my God, Buell, you've got terrible Storms, but it doesn't matter. He's got so many Dragoons. Is Buell actually going to take out Bakuyu here? Bakuyu, with only Lurkers against Mass Dragoons, is not a good composition. Oh, that's a better Storm. Now Bakuryu is in so much trouble, he's flooding out Zerglings here, but it's so many Dragoons, they are 2-0 upgraded against non-upgraded Zerglings. Bakuryu's upgrades are not finished, 1-1 is so close, and yet so far, Bakuryu! Bakuryu is getting taken out by Master Dragoons, the Dragoons are wandering through Lurkers, but it doesn't even matter. The Mutas are coming home to defend, Buell is mining off of one base only, he's queuing up probes, but it doesn't matter, his army alone is enough, is there going to be a storm? No, it looks like they will not be. He's actually, he's still got like three storms on these Templars. He's got two storms. And oh no, the Lurkers are clumping. And there's no storm. Ah, Buell. There's a storm. Does it actually catch this one? It does. And it looks like, oh man, more Dragoons now taking out the mineral only. No mining here since the DT killed everything. Bakryu. He's got four hatcheries in the main, but he's got nothing. Baki is losing everything. 33 supply against 121. More units being rallied to the front. Buell mining once again from his natural. 6, 7 gateway pump. 7 gate pump, the Dragoons just moving, right clicked into Lings, but it doesn't matter. Too many units. And. Well, that is going to be that. Bakuyu just uh, making pure lings. He's got 1-1 one, one now, but it doesn't really matter. Losing everything. And one Hydra is just running around. Looking for stuff. I don't... He's dead. Bakuyu is dead. He's at 17 supply. He's at 15 supply. Fantasy is growing a mustache. GG! And Buell, Buell evens up the score two to two here. I, hold on. What? Buell beat Bakryu after doing a failed Dragoon attack? Man. All right. So, actually, despite a lot of people's predictions that uh, you know LRM would take it. 4 4 1 or 4 0 or something like that. VTV is actually currently tied 2 to 2 with the uh, the top seeded uh, team from the the regular season. So let's go into game 5. Oh, let me I have a quick uh, message from Awa. Aha. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen, I have been given the go-ahead to announce a very exciting new event that will be coming up after uh, Gambit's Cup is over. Of course, uh, next week will be the Gambit's Cup and the ISL2 Finals, both actually. Both events will be ending on the same weekend, so it's going to be a pretty epic weekend. Uh, of course, tomorrow will be ISL2 Semis. Um, but stick around to the end of the cast, and I will be announcing yet another epic event... Uh, that has been in the works for a little while here. Alright! Anyway, now that that announcement is done, let us go into the next game.